I am Stuart Roberts and I'm really excited to introduce my new podcast, Hear Me See Me. It's just over five years ago, I did something that changed my life. What it did, more than I could have ever realised, it helped me. I have met some absolutely amazing people, some of the people that work in some of these places. Many of them are volunteers, but some of them, it is their job. I'd had this idea after being inspired by a guy in America I'd seen cutting hair on the streets and seeing the difference it made to the guys who were there. This is more than a job, this is a calling. Hello, I am Stuart Roberts and I'm really excited to introduce my new podcast, um, Hear Me, See Me. I thought before I put anything out, I thought I'd better give a bit of backstory as to who I am and um, really the idea of the podcast and, you know, then people can figure out if it's going to be for them. About five, well, it's just over five years ago, I did something that changed my life. I went to my first Haircuts for Homeless session. I had this idea... Um, after being inspired by a guy in America I'd seen cutting hair on the streets and seeing the difference uh, it it made to the guys who were there and at the time I was volunteering in a Salvation Army Uh, I'm 13 and a half years sober now nearly 14 now actually and um, I was there doing this sort of buddying thing where just giving people advice and you know explaining how I'd got to change my life and see if I could help them change theirs. And uh, used to do this on a Monday afternoon. Saw the homeless guys coming in for lunch. And it all came together and I thought, look, next week I'm going to come along. I'm going to come an hour early, do a couple of haircuts, see how it goes. And um, thinking it may help other people. But what it did more than I could have ever realised, it helped me. Because at that time, um, recovery is a journey, you know, like, uh, a bit cliche that, isn't it? But it's it's a constant journey, so you don't sort of just um, change your life and it all stops there. It's an ever ever sort of evolving type of process where you keep learning about yourself and trying to change yourself and learning and changing and, you know, trying to be the better version of yourself that you can, you know. Um, and as with anything, the longer you do it, it sometimes get a bit, gets a bit harder to be motivated. Um, and then I had this experience of this pure thing of helping someone else in a different way, you know. It wasn't about recovery and stuff like that, even though it does broach over to that sometimes. But it was this pure exchange of, uh, well, love, really, you know. It was doing something for someone else and then just seeing the incredible difference it made. And it was like um, something that I'd never experienced before. You know, well, I probably had, but, you know, experienced in the wrong ways. Um, And it was... It was intoxicating, you know, I thought, I'm coming back, I'm doing more of this. And with that, uh, put a few pictures on Facebook, like you do, and a few other hairdressers said, that's great, we'll come along. A few other centres, like Salvation Armies and a couple of homeless centres said, look, can you come and do it at ours? And, you know, there it was born. Spent a couple of years, you know, sort of banging on doors, saying, uh, can we bring this service to your establishment, you know? And, you know, got a few knockbacks, quite a few. People saying, well, I don't understand. What what do you mean you want to cut hair? We're in here, you know, like, what? I don't get it. Um, But it's like anything as its tipping point. I think ours was the biggest tipping point we had was when the National Lottery chose to uh, put us in the advert that was on TV uh, only last year. And then that really 
it really blew the lid off the whole project. You know, we became a registered charity. We went from 30 projects to 60. Um, we went from 300 volunteers to 600 volunteers. Um, here we are in January 2020, and we are looking to open another 25 this year. So, um, you know, it, it's all become, you know, a big, wonderful thing. But it needs a lot of work. But during that process, during those five years, I have met some absolutely amazing people. And it begins with the guests. I've met some amazing homeless or people in a homeless situation that when you hear their backstory, it's, you know, mind-blowing. Um, I don't know how they've got to the point they've got and still be here some of them um, some dispelled a lot of the preconceived ideas I had you know I had a lot of the same ideas that everyone else has that they're, all, they're all drunks and drug addicts and you know um, until you get to know you get to know the people and you realise they've got the same the same needs wants that we've got you know uh some have been so shocked that they've come into this position, you know, because of where they've come from. Um, some heartbreaking ones, some heartbreaking stories of, of you think, my God, how have you even got through that? But also a lot of, now this is the, this is the twist, a lot of laughter, a lot of fun, you know, a lot of good feeling, you know, between camaraderie between each other that you know it makes you realize the humanity of it all um also the next sort of bunch of people that i've met that have blown me away have been some of the people that work in some of these places many of them are volunteers but some of them it is their job and I say they're, they're just wonderful people. And then people say, well, it's their job. They're, you know, they're getting paid to do this, to do that. And I quickly throw in that, listen, <laughs> you can get a job anywhere. You, you know, that this is more than a job. This is a calling. Um, we've got an upcoming episode with the wonderful Sonia from the Whitechapel Mission. You listen to her, and at the end of it, I challenge you to say to me that that's just a job for her, you know? Um, and the thing is, I've been lucky that I've had quite a bit of recognition for what I'm doing, and even though it sometimes makes me a bit uncomfortable, I get people giving me that pat on the back and saying, it's a great job you're doing, you're doing a wonderful thing, and it's thank you very much. Um, but a lot of these people I'm meeting are just out there doing it. They aren't getting the love they should be getting. And this is what the podcast is about, is, is to try and dispel the myths of the homeless people and to put a light on some of these unsung heroes that I've met that have just completely re-established my faith in human nature. Because, my goodness on a day-to-day -day basis it gets bashed and it's such a wonderful refreshing thing to meet people who just reinstall that faith in you um i'm going to kick the first one off uh with a wonderful lena Heady, who um is not you know she's she's a very successful actress um she's she's now a director a writer but she's a passionate passionate wonderful human being and um, you know so lucky to have her as an ambassador because she is the um, the perfect ambassador for us because she so believes in what we're doing and uh, we have a great chat um, you'll find out immediately if you you know if you're kind enough to listen you'll find out immediately that I mean this is someone who's got very short amount of spare time and, and you know 
that 45 minutes after the most wonderful chat, I realised I hadn't pressed the record button properly. So, <laughs> listen, this is a work in progress. So, um, but she was so gracious now. She could have said, look, I'm done. I've got to get out of here. I've got things to do. And uh, she she gave me an extra half hour. So we did manage to get a great chat. And um, she's off in America now. But she, as soon as she gets back, she's going to come and join us. And we're going to have a part two. But so there's... Um, There'll be some, you know, interesting, well-known names going to come and say hello. But it's that threefold, threefold thing. It's that I, w- I want to get, I want to shine a light on some of these unsung heroes. And I want you to get to know, hopefully, some of the people um, who I've grown to love. So if, you, uh, if you're interested, please give it a listen. It's just over five years ago, I did something that changed my life. What it did, more than I could have ever realised, it helped me. I have met some absolutely amazing people, some of the people that work in some of these places. Many of them are volunteers. But some of them, it is their job. This is more than a job. This is a calling. 